Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are focusing on a summer look that's super cute. Normally I'm not a big pink person on my eyes. I stick to more neutral tones as pink tends to look a little bit young for me, but in any case, I think that this one does the perfect job of really brightening up the eye area without looking too dramatic. Um, something that you would be okay with during the daytime. You could also transition it into night. Um, either would work. Super cute, super easy, and we're just going to be using a couple of, I'm actually mixing and matching as far as my product, so I will explain as I go along. Let's get started. All right, first we're going to prime the eyes. You can use whatever primer you're comfortable with. I particularly like using this L'Oreal Infallible Paints. This is in 320 Brown Sugar. I am using the light brownish color, and I typically like this just because it lasts all day and it has slightly warmer, um, like brownish tones, so I just like it because it creates a nice transition color without being too bright. I don't want anything bright, bright or light or white. So we're just rubbing this all over the eye and I should let you guys know, I attempted this tutorial a few minutes ago and we lost power. So I have completely started again, wiped off the eye that I was going to be doing and I'm starting from scratch. So if it looks a little inflamed, that's why. All right, so moving on, we've got the primer or the, uh, the base of your choosing on. Uh, next, we are going to be moving in with a simple highlight. You want to have a light hand with this. I'm using the Matte Tremoni palette and I'm using this upper left corner. This one is called Matte Lynn. I'm using a fluffy brush, just a slight amount of product. And we're just working this right underneath the brow and inwards inwards on the eye, just a little bit like that. Okay, next we're going to be using something way out of my normal repertoire of makeup. This is Makeup Forever and this is a their blush powder and it is bright pink. And as you can see, I've done a lot of experimenting with this, so normally yours wouldn't have that dark spot right there, but that's some bright pink. And so I'm using a longer brush like this. Uh, this is the MAC, I believe it's the 222 brush, but I'll double check. So if it's different, I'll put that, I'll note that below. So we're just putting a little bit of product, tapping off that excess, and we're simply going right into the outer area of the lid. And I like this pink color just because, yeah, it's a little bit intimidating, but it really adds some depth to whatever look that you're doing. So if you really want to quickly add some warmth, this is a great color. It's a really wonderful transition. It's a wonderful base color. You can do a lot with this in terms of really building up a look. And if you, hey, if you want to go there with pink, this is the color to do it with. So. I'm sticking to the crease and under, if you can't tell, and just dragging it inwards. And I'm not going super high, but I do just do a couple quick strokes that are a little bit higher than the crease just to blend it all out. Next, we're going to be applying this to the bottom area of the lash line. So you can either use a fluffier, smaller brush like this, you can use a more dense brush if you want exact precision, but we're just going to use a fluffier, smaller brush. Oops. And see how I'm connecting this area right there. I just noticed I had something floating in my eye. That's, that's wonderful. So I pretty much got the color uh, all dispersed. Next we're moving in after the pink's been applied using the heat palette, but if any type of like warm, really warm colored, uh, a neutral tone, or even if something with, you know, if some of you use the Anastasia Renaissance palette, this might, uh, that might be, have an option for you, but a lighter warm colored brown that's matte. So this one is heat double. Dipping that in, and we're just going over the same area where we did the pink. And this is adding more of a brownish tone. The whole 
video with these looks is that you're really just building depth. So you're not really able to see where, unless you want it, you know, where one color ends and the other begins. You know, you're, you're really just creating a transition, you know, within maybe a few color families. And that's the whole idea. You know, and if you want, like along the bottom again, you can just eh, apply some of that color. So we're right about here. Okay, so once we've gotten to this point, I will go in with, excuse me, my allergies, one more darker color. And this is going to be in the Matrimony palette, Matt Kumar. It's that middle one. The reason that I chose this palette is because it has, on my opinion, even though it's a warmer palette, it has a lot of purple undertones to it. So it really works well in the pink families because, you know, it just inherently has those purple colors already in there. All right, so we're just doing the same kind of motions and working in that same area. That's really all we're doing. We're just working in that exact same area. You know, if you ever want to check, you're just kind of making sure that the color here is transitioned all the way to the bottom. That's what we've got right about now. And one last final darker color, I, I lied. <laughs> There's one more. If you want, you can use Matt Moskovitz. It's that dark purple. So any type of dark purple, actually, I think it's called Ashes in the Urban Decay palette, you can use that as well. Or any dark, dark matte purple, I guess is really what we're looking for here. That's going in the outer crease. And if you can tell, um, anytime, you know, when I start going in with a darker color, I'm starting at the outside. I'm not working directly on top of the lid. You want the deepest concentration of color to be out here. Okay, so, oh, my nose is running. The star of this palette is going to be a MAC pigment. I depotted mine and put it in a smaller container because that way if I drop it, I'm not... I'm not losing all of that product. So, oh, hopefully this doesn't fall on me here. That's the pigment powder. This one is rose. And here's the trick. Here is the trick. So, what you want to do to get that pigment to stick is you want to use something tacky. So normally, you could use a lip liner, anything with some stickiness to it. And in this particular case, you can use the Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Eyeliner. Um, and actually, when I was originally filming this, I used a Maribel. It was just something I had sitting around that I never used. It was a lip liner in like a pinky brown. So whatever you have tacky in a pinkish tone family, something neutral, would definitely work. So if you want to save some money, you don't have to run out and buy a special paint pot. You can use whatever's tacky. So, all right, I'm taking that eye pencil and I'm applying it on the tip of my finger so it kind of heats up and I am just going over my lid area doesn't have to be perfect you just want a little bit of tack to that eye area all right once you've got about that far go ahead and dip that same finger into your pigment and we're pressing so this is where it gets super pretty And I'm literally pressing all over my lid. And I'm gonna see, going to see if I can get a tighter shot of this just to see, so you can see how pretty it is. Now any type of fallout, you know, you would just wipe off. And the tick, the, the stickier the base that you get, the less fallout you will have. So actually, if you have a lip liner, I'd recommend using that, to be totally honest. So, after you got to that point, one last thing that we're going to do well, before the liner is add a little bit of a tight line on the bottom lashes. 
I'm going to be using, you can, like I said, ashes from Urban Decay. You can use a dark purple as long as it's matte. And I'm literally just going into that waterline. And wiping off any fallout right there. Finally, we've got that pink again, and we're going to be using a either small flat brush or small round brush and dipping it in. And I'm applying some pink right in the cor inner corner of my eye and kind of just transitioning it down a little bit. Let's do this on my other eye as well because I believe I forgot to kind of do that. Alright, so there we have it. And again, you can always feel free to complete a look by... It never hurts to blend, right? You've heard people say that over and over. Oh, blend, blend, blend. So, I'm saying it now. Alright, let's get a close up before we do liner. So, here we have eye and I like how close this is so that way we can really focus on some eyeliner so we're just making sure everything's blended it's looking great here the transition transition is looking okay everything's looking good so let's go in for some eyeliner so as you all know I have a two-part system to my eyeliner I start in with a pencil I finish off with a liquid the reason for that is, <clears throat> excuse me, I particularly like how with pencils it gives you more of a matte finish. Typically, liners that are liquid tend to give satin, uh, and I just like how there's that added assurance with pencil liners, <clears throat> excuse me, that you don't, uh, you won't, have, it doesn't bleed as often. So somebody like me, as you can tell, has allergies, a lot going on, uh, this tends to make it a little bit easier. So let's start with that eyeliner. Uh, right now and this one happens to be Alta Beauty. I just actually had it left over and I'd like to finish this one off. This came in a kit I believe uh, last year. I think my husband got it for me around Christmas. Maybe it was the year before. <laughs> Whoops I shouldn't be using this. And I'm basically just, you know, going along the lash line. So here we have the eye. And I like how close this is so that way we can really focus on some eyeliner. So we're just making sure everything's blended. It's looking great here. The transition, transition is looking okay. Everything's looking good. So let's go in for some eyeliner. So as you all know, I have a two-part system to my eyeliner. I start in with a pencil, I finish off with a liquid. <clears throat> the reason for that is, <clears throat> excuse me, I particularly like how with pencils it gives you more of a matte finish. Typically, liners that are liquid tend to give satin, uh, and I just like how there's that added assurance with pencil liners, <clears throat> excuse me, that you don't, uh, you won't, have, it doesn't bleed as often. So somebody like me, as you can tell, has allergies, a lot going on, uh, this tends to make it a little bit easier. So let's start with that eyeliner uh, right now. And this one happens to be Alta Beauty. I just actually had it left over and I'd like to finish this one off. This came in a kit, I believe, uh, last year. I think my husband got it for me around Christmas. Maybe it was the year before. <laughs> Whoops, I shouldn't be using this. And I'm basically just, you know, going along the lash line. If you'd like a closer look at how I do my eyeliner, I will put the video at the end of, or the link to the video at the end of this video. And that's how I start with it. So as you can see, we've just got a basic line that's close to the lash line. It's coming mostly in. Uh, I try not to go too far down in here, like in here, but that's 
what we've got now. So let's go in with that liquid liner just to kind of give it a nice polished look. And I am using Herb, uh, Urban Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I also did a review on this. I love this liner. So here we go with that. Looking pretty good. All right. All right, so that about does it for this liner. And that's the look that we have as of now. What I would recommend, um, I'm not going to show you how to put on mascara. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but what I would like to show you is a really, really cute blush that I think goes perfect with this look. This blush is absolutely gorgeous. This is by Lorac. It's called Baked Matte Satin Brush, and this is an exposed. Check that out. Super pretty color. So, a little goes a long way with this blush so I'm just literally patting it because it almost dupes as like a highlighter super pretty and then uh, that's about it now what I would recommend I would stick in the pink family for your lips but uh, I just mainly wanted to show you the eyes. So, super pretty look. I'm loving how it's daytime friendly, but you can also use this, you know, um, as a going out because it does reflect a lot of light. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and that you really enjoy this look as much as I do. Um, and I'd love to hear your comments, questions, and thoughts. And as always, please subscribe. As you know, I'm new, and I'd really appreciate your support. Catch me on Instagram, Makeup with Michigan Michelle. And I'd love to hear from you. And thanks again for watching. Au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, bye.